Final preparations are underway for the single most dangerous test in the entire program, the flutter test. During the flutter or flight vibration test, the A380 crew must push the aircraft to its maximum theoretical speed. Bon, aujourd'hui c'est bon du bon. Today's the big day. Today there's no more playing around. It's one of those flights that you complete one time in the entire life of the airplane. And you're much happier when it's over. The flutter test is the only test where the flight crew must wear parachutes, helmets, and orange jumpsuits to aid identification should the worst happen. It's a very risky flight because we are truly pushing the flight envelope. Obviously, we must wear safety equipment, which will help us evacuate the aircraft if there is any type of problem, a loss of control or something like that. But it's more to reassure us and to reassure the authorities because if there is a real loss of control, I don't think we'll be able to evacuate the aircraft. To achieve certification, the A380 must reach just below Mach 1, the speed of sound, without experiencing abnormally strong vibrations. The only way to achieve this speed is to climb to 38,000 feet, then descend as rapidly as possible. It will take them several attempts, as increment by increment, they edge ever closer to a speed just below the infamous sound barrier. Are you ready? Ready? Okay, three, five, nine, oh. As the aircraft reaches its first major speed outside the flight envelope, Mach 0.89, the cockpit begins to shudder, but the flight crew know that this kind of vibration is normal. The A380 has survived its first extreme test. Now the flight crew and engineers feel safe to push on towards the more dangerous speeds. Somewhere over the Atlantic Ocean, the A380 inches its way towards its target speed. Mach 0.92. Mach 0.93. But suddenly they hear a noise. Chief test pilot Jacques Rosé has felt a twitch. After a quick consultation between the air and the ground, the flight crew decide to immediately halt the test. As soon as the A380 touches down, the crew hurry under the aircraft, where they quickly find the source of the problem. Because of the extreme vibrations, a large section of the undercarriage has become detached. Aircraft One will have to go to the hangar again, causing yet another delay that Airbus could definitely do without.